Okay folks, I was going to do a quick video here of my 1960 Chevy Apache 10. Uh, coming on winter here and I'm going to have to put her up in the pole barn for a couple of three months. But uh, before I do, I wanted to give everybody a good look at it. This was a one owner truck I bought from the original owner in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, I bought it, it had 50, 51,000 original miles on it. I believe it's got 58,000 on it now. Uh, I've been all over the world in this truck. I've been to Nashville and been to uh, up to Indianapolis, been to St. Louis in it. And uh, it's just been a great truck. Um, factory 235 inline six, three speed on the column. Uh, the original color, it's so original factory uh, tartan turquoise from Chevrolet. And uh, as you can see, it's kind of an eye catcher. You can't hide from nobody in this truck. Uh, show you under the hood here got the cat's eye hood on it which is what I wanted I always love that hood and uh, still got the factory markings in everywhere that it should at the heater label there anyway still got the old oil bath on it uh, it's got the old uh, the old Rochester on it and I uh, had to put a kit in it here a while back went through it but this engine doesn't leak a drop of anything anywhere I had to put a valve cover gasket on it and I had to put a, uh, a side cover gasket on it. It's got a hydraulic clutch, which was kind of neat. Put a new radiator in it. Didn't want to fight the old one if it ever had any leaks. I went ahead and put a new one in it. Of course, a new battery. It's been converted to 12 volts. Got a 12 volt alternator on it. Put a new fuel pump on it. And uh, the old High Thrift 235. There's your slave cylinder down there for the hydraulic clutch. Uh, put a new blower motor on it just so uh, in case I drove it out this winter it wouldn't go out and be a brand new one. But uh, as far as solid goes, this is pretty pretty darn solid old truck. It's got a little bad spot right in here. But uh, most of them that you see that haven't been restored, they, they get real bad on this core support. And, uh, this truck really hadn't been restored to speak of a spot here, but not bad, not too, not too terribly bad for a an old truck. But let's take another look around it. This glass is just perfect. There's no milk or chips or cracks or anything like that on any of the windows. All the weather strippings real nice and. Windows roll up and down good. I'm just as smooth as silk. Of course, he kept his oil changes on here. Floorboards. Man, these floorboards don't have a spot of rust anywhere on them. All underneath, all the way across. Back in here. All good metal. The rocker panels. I think the rocker panel's got a little bit of rust on them. We'll, we'll check that out here in just a minute. Show you the inside. Of course, the seat's beautiful. Dome light and everything works. Got one sun visor. And uh, a fellow that bought this truck new had a kind of a portfolio here that he included with the truck. Every receipt and everything that's ever been done to it. Original owner's book. And here's the uh, original sales receipt for this truck when he bought it new. This come from uh, Pendergrass, uh, excuse me, Pendergrass Chevrolet in Louisville, Kentucky, which is about an hour away from me. Uh, he ordered it with the option of a heater. And uh, the base price of this pickup truck new was $2,095.75. And the heater was an additional $47.90. He got the heavy-duty rear springs, that was $6.50 extra, and he ordered it with a heavy-duty clutch, which was an additional $5.40, and he wanted a rear bumper, and that was $21.55, so a grand total of $21.77 and 10 cents, that's what he ended up paying for it brand new, $21.77.10, and uh, just some kind of neat history on how long ago and what stuff cost back then. But anyway, 
if you're a fan of old Chevrolet trucks, this one's a dandy. 59,921 original miles. And I tell you, when you go out in the morning to start it up, usually you just pull the choke out on a cold start. But uh, I've been driving it today, so we don't need the choke. Got the throttle, throttle advance there. Kind of something neat that they did. All the gauges work, all the lights work, turn signals, all the indicators. Heater works real good in this thing. I mean, it puts out some darn good heat. All three speeds. It's got a uh, got a re reproduction. I've got the original radio that came in this truck. He ordered it with a radio. That was one uh, another thing that he came with. But uh, this is a modern digital stereo, and it's got an iPod hookup. So if you want to listen to your iPod, this truck never gets above 190 on a hot day, on a cold day, no matter what, it never gets above 190. Uh, emergency brake still works. It's actually set right now. Got the vents up under the dash. Got the original uh, brake down there on the tag of the paint code and the trim code and the wheelbase. Original rubber floor mat. Got the vent pull knobs for your for your vent. Of course, the glove boxes. I got a bunch of junk in there, but all that's in there. This is the state inspection sticker from 1978 when they had the truck inspected at one time. Windshield wipers. Doors just click shut. thing runs like a sewing machine, real quiet. Now as far as rust goes on this truck, there was some touch-up work done on the lower parts of the fenders at one time and it's starting to starting to kind of break loose. Uh, and on the rocker panels, there's a little bit of where somebody had touched it up and they matched the color pretty good to the original paint, but you know, from, you can't hardly tell unless you look at it real close, but it's got some bad spots in here. The underside of the rockers has had some work done on them over the years and it's starting to break free. The floorboards in this truck are, are solid, they're not rusted out. But your cab supports are in bad shape, so they rusted out. But the cab mounts themselves are good. Here's another cab support here that fell victim to bad weather, but your, your mounts are still good. The frame doesn't have any holes or any, any weak spots in it anywhere. It's all good and solid. So are the, uh, all the control arms in the rear. They're solid as a rock. This truck drives like a Cadillac, smooth. Just drives smooth down the road. Original wood floor in the bed. There's no bad spots in it, no holes nowhere, no busted boards. Bed, if you can see where the light's showing, it's got a few little dents in it on this side right in there. You got a few scratches. But uh, that's what you'll have having an unrestored old truck. I just put brand new tires on it here about, a, about six months ago. All new rear wheel cylinders, front wheel cylinders. Brake shoes all the way around. Some brake lines I replaced. Give you a little political uh, statement there. Brake lights, turn signals, uh, license plate light here in the back. It's got a trailer hookup. In case you wanted to pull a little trailer, got the spare underneath it. Put some new steel brake lines on the back. This side of the body, this bed side's real good and straight. Got a little bit of some old body work that's been done to it over the years, starting to show again. Got a little bad spot on this door. Lower front fender here, about the same as the other one. 
rocker panel on this side. Got a bad spot up here. Cab supports the same as the other side. Mount's still good. Floorboard doesn't have any holes in it anywhere. Inner rocker don't have any damage to it. Usually you find an old truck like this, they've some hillbillies pop riveted a damn stop sign over a big ass hole somewhere, but there's nothing like that here. Everything's good and sound. That cab support there is not too bad. Body mount's good. But anyway. That's a good look at the truck. Show you the gas tank too. Uh, actually I'll go around the other side. Had a new gas tank put in it. It had some old gas in it that kept pumping through it. Give you a look at this floor over here too while I'm over here. Yeah. Had a new gas tank, new sending unit, new float, the whole assembly's been put in so the gas gauge and everything works good. Truck does have uh, GM seat belts in it if you was worried about seat belts. But I don't. Everything's Everything's good and sound. There's a cover here. I bet that's something somebody's... I never really noticed that before. That might be a patch of some kind. Yeah, that's a patch. Just a piece of metal something somebody uh, put over a spot right there. I'm glad I saw that. But, uh... Anyway. There's the 60 Apache. And, uh, if you like these old trucks and you've taken the time to watch this boring ass video, <laughs> maybe you'll find you one and bring it back to life. So thanks for watching.